Good afternoon. Welcome to Midday Devotional. My name is Courtney Schultz. I serve as one of the co-lead pastors of Grace Chapel, a campus of Grace Avenue United Methodist Church, located on the 380 corridor here in North Texas. It is so good to be with you today. I'm so grateful that you've chosen to spend part of your day connecting right here with the faith community and with our God for Midday Devotional. I want to share with you today out of a devotional book that's been on my shelf for many years. It's quirky and fun, something a little bit different. If you are tuning in ever on morning prayer time with the Grace Chapel Facebook page, then you've heard me read out of this once before, but I'm going to read a different entry for our time together today. So this is the Movie Lovers Devotional, What We Learn About Life from 60 Great Hollywood Films. And so today, I'm going to read the entry from The Wizard of Oz and see what the author thinks The Wizard of Oz might have to say to us about our faith. So at the beginning, we get some cool information and facts about the movie. It was rated PG, released August 25th, 1939. We have all of the information for the writers and directors and the cast here at the front. The title of this entry is Unveiling the Truth. And so we're going to get a little recap of the movie, and then the author is going to share with us some thoughts and reflections on how this might inform our faith. Here's what it says. The Wizard of Oz is an enjoyable classic and one of the best-loved movies of all time. The story follows Dorothy and her dog Toto as a tornado plunks them into a strange land called Oz. When her house accidentally lands on the Wicked Witch of the East, Dorothy is lauded by the locals, munchkins, and granted magical ruby slippers that protect her from the vengeful Wicked Witch of the West. All Dorothy cares about, though, is getting home, so she is advised to seek help from the Great Wizard of Oz, who reigns from the Emerald City. Along the way, she overcomes a series of perils with the help of the heartless Tin Man, who really is kind, and a cowardly lion, who really is courageous, and a brainless scarecrow, who is quite clever. After defeating the witch and exposing the wizard, Dorothy discovers her companions already possess what they were seeking. Glinda, the good witch of the north, finally reveals that Dorothy can return home. Using the mantra, there's no place like home, while clicking the heels of her red slippers. On the surface, the movie suggests a straightforward and entertaining conflict between good and evil. But the most telling scene, Toto's tearing away the veil to reveal the fraudulent, great and powerful eyes, suggests something more. Toto is probably the true hero of the story. For this unveiling is exactly what the great spokesman from Elijah to John of Patmos to Martin Luther King Jr., have always done. They have confronted the powers, tore away veils of deception, and gave us an opportunity to see reality from heaven's perspective. For example, like Toto, the book of Revelation tears back the imperial curtain and exposes almighty Rome, the savior of the world, as Rome, the violent beast, the soon-to-be-vanquished Babylon. Conversely, John's visions show us the crucified Christ has not been defeated. He has actually triumphed over sin and death and now sits on heaven's throne. The persecuted and vanquished churches are reminded things are not as they seem. Personally, the prophets also allow us to look in the mirror to see who God sees rather than buying into what marketers and accusers or flatterers want us to see. In grace, Jesus sees the true image of God at the core of our hearts. He welcomes our true self, hearts and brains and courage to come forward on his path of discipleship grander than any yellow brick road. And then we have this scripture from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Whenever anyone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. So I don't know about you, but I feel like in the last couple of months, it feels a lot like I've been plucked up and dropped down into the land of Oz, where everything seems upended. But I know that just as Toto pulled back the veil and revealed what was really going on behind the curtain, that God can use the last couple of months to reveal things to each of us. 
Here's what the authors ask at the end. God often tears back the veil to help us see the truth. When was the last time God did this for you? And what truth did God reveal? Friends, what truth is God revealing to you right now? When everything gets turned upside down, when things seem to be going in a way we don't understand, that is most often a time where the Holy Spirit can show us something new about ourselves or about our God or our faith or our church. So what truth, what new thing is God revealing to you? How might the Holy Spirit use these last few weeks to show each of us something we haven't seen before? So, if we're in Oz, friends, let's hope we can find some truth there, too. <laughs> Let us pray. Holy and eternal God, we give thanks that you indeed pull back the veil, that you continue to reveal new truths to us again and again. God, we pray that our hearts might be softened, our eyes might be open to see, and our ears might be willing to hear whatever new truth you are revealing to us now. God, give us courage and peace that we might follow the way you are leading and help us to point toward your hope for all of those others in the world that they too might be able to see what truth you're revealing to them. And we give thanks for your love and your grace and your mercy in our lives and we pray that all we do might honor and glorify you in the world. In the name of Christ we pray, amen. That's all I have for us today on this Midday Devotional. We sure hope to see you back again for the next one.